All right, it's movie review time. This movie I'm about to review, it's three o'clock high from 1987. To me, this is one of the most underrated 80s movies of all time because uh, I think it's a really a good, you know, teenage high school bullying movie, or I might say anti-bullying, but uh, you know, I mean, when you think of the teenage 80s, 80s films, you think, you think of John Hughes, the director of The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, Weird Science, you know, blah, blah, blah. But Three O'Clock High, I did really think this should have been one of the, how come I'm going to say this right? I'm sorry. One of the best or top 10, 20, 80s, teenage 80, 80s movies or whatever. Sorry. But the first time I, I heard about Three O'Clock High, I didn't see it till years later. It was a, you know, this was when they released The Breakfast Club, the high school reunion collection on DVD. When I had, when I got The Breakfast Club on DVD back in uh, 2003, it had the ad for, uh, you know, Three O'Clock High, which was directed by, uh, I can't say his name, like Phil John. I can't say his last name, right? I'm sorry. It starts with a J, his last name. But yeah, like I said, this is the most, I think this is an underrated movie because it deserves much better credit, even though it's not going to be the greatest mo mo teenage movie of the 80s, but it still deserves a lot more credit. That's just me. Anyway, it's about Jerry Mitchell. He's a high school, I want to say straight A student. I don't think he makes straight A's, but uh, that's not the important. But his sister, uh... Bree Mitchell, played by Stacy Glick. Yeah, Stacy Glick. I love uh, his sister's bluish, blue eyes. I like. I'm sorry. The actress who plays his sister, Bree Mitchell. I like her uh, crystal blue eyes. Have you ever seen the movie? So uh, his sister wakes him up because uh, Jerry oversleeps. He's got to get ready for school. He picks up his girlfriend, Franny, played by uh, Ann Ryan. Cause he's got to open the student store. He's in charge of opening the student store. And there's a other girl he likes. Uh, I forget the character actress. But but the talk of the school is where this new kid is supposed to be coming to their school. Buddy Ravel, played by Tyson Richard Tyson. Uh, he's supposed to be the baddest, you know, most scariest bully that's supposed to come to their school. You know, he's talked about the jocks, uh, the cheerleaders, nerds. They were all talking about him that day. And they are all scared of him because they know he has a bad reputation. He doesn't like to be touched. And if you touch him, he'll knock you the F out. Later, the teacher gives uh, Jerry Mitchell to uh, a report. Where she wants him to uh, interview him for a school news for the school newspaper. And Jerry gets so nervous. He asks the teacher to go to the bathroom because, you know, he knows he's got to interview Buddy Ravel. And I guess he was at the bathroom, Buddy Ravel. He tries to uh, talk to him and he accidentally touches him and Buddy goes crazy and grabs his shirt and throws him into one of the urinals. Urinal, sorry. It pisses him off so much. He challenges him to a fight after school. And this is funny. Nowadays, kids would just fight when they when they want to fight each other. They just fight. They don't wait for after school. They just go at it at, during school time. When I was in high school, there were so many fights at my school. You know, they didn't wait after school. They just go ahead at it. And now that's what that's what fights are nowadays. I don't know what. Ha fights were like back then if they just waited after school or they just did it at school but Buddy challenges him to a fight after school not in the bathroom and he better be there uh, if he goes to a teacher it's going to get worse he better not sneak or he'll be under his bed and you know he try he tries to if he tells him he tr if he tries to skip school or sneaks home he's going to track him down later he tells uh, his uh, friend uh the actor was played by Jonathan Wise of uh, Vincent, and uh, now the whole school knows he's got to fight Buddy Ravel. And Jerry tries to get out of this situation, but uh, you know when he goes to his car, Buddy Ravel 
uh, rips the wires out of the motor or whatever. I think he does that. I forget. And then the one of the, the security officer catches him and he sees the switchblade in his pocket, saying, saying he was up to something. And he sends, sends him to uh, Mr. O'Rourke, played by John P. Ryan, uh, the principal, the stereotypic butthole principal that nobody likes. Later, Jerry tries to get out of the situation. He, once he tries to hire a, one of the toughest football players, pays him off with a lot of cash. I forget how much money, but he pays him off just to tell Buddy not to mess with Jerry in that scene where Buddy was at the library. And then uh, when the high school kid touches him, Buddy knocks him the F out, gives him one of the most bloodiest noses. Oh my god, he messes his nose up completely. Another scene he tries to get out of uh, in the next class where Jerry was in, uh, when he was supposed to do the book report, the teacher. Or the teacher name, I forget. I think I read. What was the teacher's name? Miss Franny, okay. No, not Miss Franny, I'm sorry, I just. Miss Farmer, Miss Farmer, I'm sorry. Forgive me, y'all. So when Miss Farmer uh, tells Jerry, uh, I know when Jerry raises his hand, he. He does it, uh, he's. Trying to get detention so he doesn't have to fight Buddy, and later in the scene, uh, J Jerry kisses the teacher, yeah, French kisses her, and then he faints. And that one student with the brace says, "Unbelievable, man!" And believe it or not, the teacher did not get him detention. Yeah, the teacher liked that. Yeah, she did. Oh, yeah, she did. I forgot to mention Jerry was played by is played by Casey Samasco. He's been in other scenes. He was in Back to the Future as one of Biff's uh, bully friends. He was the guy, I, yeah, he was wearing the 3D glasses in the movie. And he was in another movie, uh, Milk Money. He plays this uh, pimp-like daddy. I need to review Milk Money, too, because that's one of my favorite movies of the 90s. Milk Money. But anyway, back to the 3 o'clock high. Uh, so the nurse tells him Jerry does it, uh, get the tension. He's sent to the nurse's office after he faints, so... And then, near the end of the movie, where they go to math class, yeah, Buddy Reveal is in his class, and the teacher, the math teacher, catches uh, him when uh, Buddy was trying to cheat, even though later on he knew the answer I was on. I'll, he knew the answer was all along, but, but that's Buddy being a jerk or whatever. They go to the guidance counselor's office. So, Buddy is sent back, and Jerry gets yelled out, like, with the principal. I mean... Jerry, they always, in the movie, they treat him, uh, you know, Jerry is supposed to be not really a bad kid. They sometimes treat him like a bad kid, but that's just me, you know, I mean. But eventually, later on in the movie, Jerry, uh, pays Buddy off. He get, I forget, I forgot to mention, uh, he was trying to get the money out of the student store, and, uh, Mr. Rice, played by Jeffrey Tambor, one of the teachers he likes, they get along with, anyway. He thinks somebody was trying to steal the money out of the store, so he calls uh, Philip, the detective, I can't say the detective name, played by Philip Baker Hall, you know who played Mr. Bookman in the Seinfeld episode, that library, you know, Mr. Bookman from Seinfeld. Anyway, uh, so later on, Jerry pays Buddy off, and Buddy was a little disappointed, you didn't even try. I'm not, you're a chicken or whatever. And when Jerry, uh, when he go, he goes on top of the roof just to think about this whole day, this whole day. And you know what? He says, screw it. I'm going to fight Buddy. And then he tells Buddy, like, he does, I want my money back. And Buddy tells him, I don't take, what do you, I forget what he says. I forget what Buddy says right now, but uh, he tells him, uh, I don't, I forget, I'm sorry. I just remember Jerry telling the buddy, "I'm not a pussy. I'm gonna fight. I don't care, you know. I don't care what you call me. I'm not a call me. I'm not a pussy or something." Anyway, so they eventually fight after school. And that's where everybody, the whole school, they uh, 
they're in the parking lot and this is when the principal and the oh this is one of my favorite scenes where the principal and the I oh, forget I'm, oh, I'm sorry let me get my nerves straight you know the hall uh, detective not the hall detective uh, I forget damn the probation officer, well, not really a probation officer. I'll call him the parking lot officer, okay. So the principal and the parking lot officer, they see Buddy and Jerry about the fight. And then when the when the parking lot officer tries to grab him, Buddy knocks him the hell out. Oh, and the principal runs like a little chicken. That is so funny. But then eventually Jerry and Buddy, they get into the fight. And then the fight's over. I like where uh, the girlfriend and Jerry's friend, uh, Vincent, and Fanny, Fanny try to they tried to help Jerry out, but uh, Buddy pushes Fanny out of the way, and I think he knocks uh, Vincent out, or just throws him on a car to get. So the fight's over, and uh, Jerry, uh, he, his sister Bree Greet gets Jerry the brass knuckles, and he knocks Buddy Ravel out, and uh, the fight is eventually over, and Buddy runs away. And the ending uh, where Buddy, everybody buys uh, Jerry school supplies, and then the next day at school, uh, when Jerry's still in school, in charge of the school, uh, you know, the school store, the supply store, everybody buys all the supplies because of the fight. Jerry, uh, the girl he likes, and the teacher, and Jerry, and the teacher, Mrs. Farmer, they kiss at the end of the movie. Everybody, everybody's in shock, and that kid from the earlier in the movie says, unbelievable with the bray. The kid with the bray says, unbelievable. And now, at the end of the movie, all the kids who were Talking about Buddy, how bad Buddy Ravel is. We're, we're now talking about how bad Jerry is. Like, oh, he's the must be the toughest kid in school. And the cheerleader, played by Yada Lee Smith, you know, who voices Lisa Simpson on The Simpsons. Uh, she was talking how bad Buddy Ravel is in the beginning of the movie. Now, at the end of the movie, they were all talking about how how bad uh, Jerry is. He must be the coolest kid in school. So. Like I said, this is one of the most underrated movies of the 80s. I think it deserves much better credit. It doesn't deserve a little hate. I mean, some people like it. Some people people think it's not a good movie. But it deals with stuff that we still have today. Bullying and fights in school. Like I said, fights in school are, well, especially today. The students just go at it. They just don't wait after school. I mean, they're going to get in trouble eventually. But they just go at it. I mean, damn. And that's just me, my opinion. I'm about, I'm about to end this video, and please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Please subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers, baby. Anyway, that said, I'm out. But check out 3 O'Clock High. So, yeah, from Universal Studios, starring, you know, Casey Samesco, Richard Tyson, Philip Baker Hall, and... Jeffrey Tambor and a whole bunch of people. It's a good movie. Anyway, that said, I'm out.